What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so we finally made it to Palatown, and uh well, we got some business to take care of in the next town. Because apparently there has been a bit of a an eruption. Now in Pokemon the original versions, you know. Pokemon red, blue, yellow, leaf green. Leaf green, so, uh, leaf green, red, fire red, all that stuff. We've never really seen a volcano, but they said it's a volcanic place. I'm only assuming... Yeah, I'm only assuming that the volcano is, like, underwater, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's probably... That, that probably explains it, but yes, there has been an eruption in... Cel uh, in Suri or in Cinnabar Island. And now, we have to go down there and see what, what, what the damage is, because, well, yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Now, here we are crossing Route 21. And yes, as you guys already know, we're going to be battling a lot of trainers right here. And our next objective is going to be against the Cinnabar Island Gym Leader. Hopefully he's doing all, all right. And well, as you guys can see, the Pokemon are not healed because, yes, we went through quite a bit. And it turns out that we can't really heal our Pokemon at Red's house because, well, we're not really the main character. So, look at this. And we got the photographer yet again. And well, he's taking a proper picture of all our Pokemon right here. So... Let's go right ahead and continue on the battles. And when we cross this area right here, many of the Pokemon are at level, or are at level of, well, they're, they're all water type Pokemon. And, well, make sure to bring any kind of grass type Pokemon, any uh, electric type Pokemon, in order to, you know, train them up and all that stuff. Now, the goal for me right here, the goal for me right here is to, whatchamacallit, to, let's see, to. Get my Pokemon, the majority of my Pokemon, up to level 50 because the last two gym leaders are going to be quite tough a battle, if not just the last gym leader. Last gym leader is quite a variety, uh, has a quite a variety of Pokemon, and well, let's go right ahead and finish everybody off right here. Look at that, that's easy. Coming out with a Fero, let's go with Fluffolt and see what we can do right here, and let's get a discharge, and just like that. We're going to continue on. One more, and there you go. Level 50 for Fluff Vault. So, yes, we're... Little by little, we're accomplishing our goal. And we got two more Pokemon uh, ready for level 50. And, well, let's not do that first. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. And, as you guys can see, he does have some different Pokemon with him. Forcela being one of them. Paralyzed and all that. And, well, let's continue with the... Let's continue with the Body Slams right here. And, just like that... We're about to hit level 50. He, he, like, seriously. <laughs> Why go with level 50 Pokemon? And, well, of course, we ran out of uh, Body Slam, so there we go. And there it is, level 50. And, wow, more Corsalus. Let's go with Hercules. And, well, let's go with a close combat. And just like that, we win again. Okay. So that is two Pokemon at level 50. And let's see what ends up happening. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are we doing right here? Let's go straight for Hercules and finish everybody off right here. And I'll be right back with you guys. I got a quick text message real quick. Okay, so we're back, and yes, people keep on texting me because I am that important. All right, let's go. I love bikinis. If I had an electric bikini, I would wear it even in winter. Oh wow, a uh, bikini, huh? Okay, so here we are taking on. Swimmer Chilen, and well, she's coming out with an Azumarill, and or Azumarill, and yeah, we're gonna try and get Hercules to level 50 right here. And well, it looks like to me we are very, very close. So, yes, we're gonna be battling everybody we can in order to get our Pokemon all powered up and stuff. So let's go right ahead, take on this uh, this Seizure right here. So let's go with Aerial Ace, and that was a Hydro Pump. So here we go, break, break, and we get poison automatically. Holy crud for that poison point! Holy crud. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because that's usually the responsible thing to do right here. And there we go. And, uh, well, of course, our mother is going to be calling us because, well, yeah. She keeps on spending our money, god dang it. And, well, we can't miss out on everybody. Why is this guy spinning around? Alright, here we go. Bring it on. Let's get it. Alright, so here we go. Close combat for the win, and just like that, Quagsire has been defeated, but here comes an Octillery, and there we go, Octazooka hitting us, and funny thing is, Octazooka is just like a one-person thing, 
And, well, let's see. Wow, we got pl wow, we got plenty of trainers, so we're definitely gonna get to level 50 real quick. And let's get it. And here comes a lantern. So as you guys already know, you can capture uh, Chinchar or Chimchar. Or, what was it, Chimchar? No, Chim, not Chimchar. Chinchow. Yeah, Chinchow. You can actually capture Chinchow. You see that scene at Chinchow? You can actually capture Chinchow real easily in the Johto region. And well. I guess it's finally time for us to actually get to level 60 and whatnot. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out some stuff. Let's see what happens. Huh. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Huh. Okay, so I see what I see what's going on right here. Let's go right ahead and give uh do -do -do -do. let's go ahead and give uh no actually let's not do that. Let's switch out some items right here. That way we can actually get our Pokemon all leveled up and stuff. So, Magnet, let's give that back to Fluffbolt right here. And then, well, let's see. Not that. Let's go with the Luck Incense. No, actually not Luck Incense. Let's go right ahead with the Choice Specs. As many of you guys already know, Choice Specs is basically... Oh my god, we're getting a call. We're getting a text message. Holy crap, holy crap. I'll be right back. Holy crap. Again, getting distracted and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out some, uh, let's go ahead and switch out some items right here for our Pokemon because we definitely need them. So, let's give the choice specs to Hercules right here because we're gonna be, you know, we're definitely gonna be needing that, though, those fighting type moves. And then the Shell Bell right now, who gets damaged the most? You know what? It's gonna be Dark Side, so let's go ahead and switch that. And then... Let's go ahead and give the experience share to our good old buddy, Cinder, right here. That way, we can actually, you know, get a level 60 Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our little swimming excursion right here. Alright, bring it on. Bring him all on. Alright, so here it is, another swimmer. And, well, let's go with a brick break. And just like that, we, get, we win. And, well, let's go straight for Flood Bolt. And, well, discharge... Makes it easier because of that belly drum end. Well, <laughs> nobody's liking us right now, including the Pokemon right here. You know, it'll be ashamed if we found ourselves a, a, a shiny Pokemon and we just bail out on it. That's actually happened to me before. I'm, I'm telling you that right now, guys. It's, ac it's actually happened to me before. If that's happened to you, please comment down below. Let me know what happened if you when you got a shiny Pokemon. Because I know that I've seen memes pictures of people just being dicks and telling them that look it's uh the, the game is damaged uh, you should restart it and stuff i've seen that so just comment down below tell me some stories about that and well here we go stone edge for the win and here comes another dodrio so let's just finish this off look at that okay so let's go right ahead and surf our way straight to another pokemon right here and here we have a tentacruel now I did capture a Tentacruel back in Johto, not looking into getting another one right here, and, well, I need to do this again, let's see, right here, and let's go right ahead, and not, god dang it, I'm trying to, like, maneuver this, okay, how many repels do we have, not a lot, I'm pretty sure of it, okay, so let's go ahead to a regular repel, it doesn't take a lot, and, well, as you guys can see, here we are in Cinnabar Island, what is left of it, and, well, let's see. First thing is first, guys. I want to do something right here. There is an individual right here that you'll notice. And, uh, well, let's see. Sidbar Island, the ravaged town of the past. If you go right here, you'll notice that Blue is right there in front of you. He's going to be like, who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion. Although it was short-lived, thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. A volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's why that that is the that is the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me for real, show me uh, show me how many Kanto badges you have. Six? You're not ready to battle me. Wow. Well, at least he's very, uh, very good with his, uh, you know, at least he's very good with uh, his people skills. Anywho, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon real quick, guys. I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, let's get this going, guys. So, we're healed up and ready to go, and now it is time for us to go straight to... I would like to see, uh, the Seafoam Islands, mainly because, well, something has been built over there. 
you guys remember. There's an eruption, yeah. And look at what the eruption did. And crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. We have uh, the glitch again. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so let's get back to it. As many of you guys have already seen, quite a few times going into this walkthrough, uh, there is a particular glitch that happens when you're playing both Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Don't necessarily know what it is. If you guys can explain it, if you guys know what it is, please explain it to me. But yeah, I've th I've noticed this alongside a whole bunch of you Poketubers that if you play the Heart Gold and Soul Silver for a prolonged period, a prolonged period of time, uh, eventually your your sprites and everybody else they're gonna get all glitchy and all that stuff. The best way to go about it is save your game and restart it. It won't damage anything. It's just you know that's that's the way this glitch is made or something like that. And uh, I mean this wouldn't be happening to me. This wouldn't be happening if I had you know if I'd known ahead of time that you can actually use your DS games on your 3DS. I do have a capture card for that, and it would have been so much easier for me to do these games on top of it all, trade, but, you know, Draven just found this out, like, I don't know, last year, or no, not last year, but a few days ago. I was today the years old when I found out about it. I know. I get it, guys. I'm sorry. Anywho, we're continuing our battles right here, beating everybody with, uh, you know, these kinds of uh, Pokemon and all that stuff, and Cinder grows to level 57 and is learning Eruption, and I want to see something here. Eruption is a five-point thing. As you guys can see, 150 power, accuracy is at 100, but there is a big downfall. The user attacks its uh, Explosive Fury. The lower the HP's user, the HP uh, becomes uh, the less powerful attack it is. I am okay with uh, Flamethrower for right now. Do not worry, guys. We can relearn these moves uh, with the move learner. All you need is a few, you know, heart scales, which we will be able to get eventually when we fish out some Pokemon and all that stuff. So here we go, taking on another trainer. Now, did I say fish out? I'm saying you can use Rock Smash and all that stuff. Sometimes you'll find a, a, a goodie here and there. And, uh, well, look at this. The shore has built up. Look at that. Okay. All right, bring it on. Let's see. He's got himself a Starly. These guys are starting to come out with some pretty cool Pokemon from the other generations and stuff. Building up our little Pokedex. And, well, we're getting towards the very end right here. And this lady right here is going to be like, Look, it's my very best swimsuit and my very best Pokemon. Huh. Okay, so let's go with a Discharge right here. And just like that, boom. Okay, so, let's see. We got one more trainer. I kind of want to... I want to do something right here. Let's go with Hercules. And... Bam. Wait just a sec. Where are you going? Are you in a hurry? How about a quick battle break? I would love a battle break, so... Here we go, taking on Picnicker Adrian. And she's coming out with an, a Shroomish. And just like that, we win. Now, if you take a look at this sign, the Seafoam Islands. Somebody put a notice under the sign. The Cinnabar Gym has moved here. The leader is Blaine. Now, if you guys played Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, you would know that, uh, you know, it's just one room and no other trainers except Blaine. Seafoam Islands does not have anything else, but now that you're playing Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, you'll have just, you'll, you'll have everything from the gym and the Seafoam Islands, including the legendary Pokemon itself. So here we are in the gym the gym portion of the Seafoam Islands, and here is uh, the only man that's ever believed in this. He's like, yo, legend in the making. This gym has many trainers and rocks in the way of the rebuilding. It won't be, or it sure won't be easy to get Blaine, but keep your cool and defeat the trainers one by one, and you will surely find the path. What he means is, uh, well, let's just go ahead and uh, show it to you guys. Let's go switch to Nessie, and let's see what we can do right here battle this guy. Actually, how do we do this? Okay, so talk to this guy. The white lab coat in the research life may be living in the cave like this, but we never forget to do our laundry. Okay, so let's go right ahead and speed this up. And as you guys can see, these guys are fire type, fire type trainers, and they will have Pokemon like Arcanine and all that crud. And the white left code makes me short for a reason. As you guys can see, we have to defeat every single one of these trainers in order for them to move around and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is, of course, just keep on battling. And thankfully, most of these trainers have like at least one Pokemon and all that. 
So after defeating him and bam, okay, so he's talking about scientists. Now, the funny thing is that, you know, uh, what was his name? Blaine is a scientist himself, and it took me forever to realize that, well, shoot, um, the creation of Mewtwo happened in Cinnabar Island, and the person in person behind it happened to be Dr. Fuji, or better known as Mr. Fuji himself. And again, it was like last year and this year that I realized, I figured it all out, and I was like, dang, dark secrets everywhere. And I, I kind of feel as though that Blaine had something to do with it. So here we go, taking on a scientist, and he's coming out with a Magmar. Like I said, most of these guys level 50, and bam, there it is. And Little by little, one by one, we're defeating everybody. And, well, let's see what he has. He's got one Pokemon. Got a little Numo right there. And, bam, for the win. Okay. And, well, we have to defeat this guy. So, yes, you have to take on every single one of these trainers in order to actually get to Blaine. And, again, not do not worry. It's only one Pokemon each. So, here it is, guys. Blaine himself. He's like, hey, you! My gym in Sidbarland was burned down by the eruption. But I will not give up. Take a look at this cave. We've turned it into a gym, and I am still acting as gym leader. If you manage to defeat me, are you ready? Here we go. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. We're going to be taking on, bam, Blaine, the fire, type, uh, the fire type gym leader of Kanto. He does have three Pokemon, and he is going to be starting off with Macargo himself. And, well, let's make it bad for these Pokemon. Let's go with a Rain Dance. Yeah, we're weakening your attacks, and here comes an overheat attack. Overheat, very powerful, but it has it does have a downside to it, just like eruption. And since I have rain dance going, it, yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely gonna take away that. Now, Macargo used the white herb, which basically restores its uh, status effect right there. And because of the rain, we're gonna be going straight for a surf attack right here. Oh yes. Look at this. Come on. Finish him off. Quad damage for the win. How's it feel to fail, Macargo? Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, let's see. Rain falls. And let's see what we got. He's coming out with a Magmar. So let's go ahead and take care of this. A Pokemon that I would have loved to see, would have loved seeing uh, on Blaine's team, it would have been Macargo or it would have been, what was it called? Uh, what's his name? Magmar's fully evolved form, what's his name? Uh Magmortar. And well, he is using a sun he's using Sunny Day. Let's go ahead and take away that. And here comes an overheat attack. That will be a little bit more powerful than what it was. Just because of the sunny day, and oh my lord. That takes away my Pokemon. Holy crud. So Yeah, we got sunlight and Well. Let's go with Dark Side. Now we got Sandstream, so this is going to be a little bit easier. And Sunny Day is going to be affecting us, but not for long because we do have Earthquake. And Cinder getting some more points. The sunlight has gone faster. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Rapidash right here. So I do have the advantage with both Dark Side being a ground type and a dark type or a rock type and a dark. I don't even know, guys. Let's go with the Earthquake. And, well, let's go with Stone Edge. And just like that, Rapidash has been defeated. What now? Look at that. And away we go. You see, Shell Bell worked for a reason. And just like that, guys, we earned our 15th badge. Yes, his spirit was not yet defeated. Okay. Awesome. I have burned out. Take this Volcano Badge. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Volcano Badge. Okay. Here, I will give you this. It's called Overheat. It has a slight drawback, but it's powerful and well worth it. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the TM50. And he's like, I did lose this time, but I'm going to win next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar gym, we will hold a rematch. Okay. All right. I actually do respect Bland because, you know, his Pokemon are pretty cool. Like I said, I would have loved to see Magmordar here taking on us. And, well, that right there is... Yeah, we're not going into the Cinnabar or the Seafoam Islands because, well, yeah, we don't want that. Uh, we don't want to. Well, we don't want to progress just yet. We're looking into the badges first. So let's go back to Cinnabar Island and talk to that shit-talking uh, gym leader, Blue himself, or Gary, or I don't even know what his name is. 
What's his face? You know what? Let's call him What's his face because, you know, he doesn't earn our respect right here. And, well, talk to him. If you want to battle me for real, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Okay, I'm flipping you off, Gary. Anywho, that right there concludes our episode. In the next one, we're going to be finishing up this whole gym excursion by going to the Viridian City Gym and battling Blue himself. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. If you guys uh, want to purchase some merch, official merch from GLD, it's right down there below. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Walkthrough. See you guys.